Back in the 80s and uh, in, in early 90s, that system was not available. Many of you know that my passion for aviation started as a pilot. I was actually trained in the military. I went through the ROTC program where I learned to fly and uh, spent actually the first 13 years of my career uh, almost exclusively as a pilot. I didn't really start into the business community until I was into my uh, early 30s. But uh, during that time, I accumulated about 8,000 flight hours and got to do some amazing flights. I, I actually flew around the world twice. Once I flew Richard Branson around the world. Uh, over, over that amount of flying, there's some amazing experiences. For instance, today we get so uh, used to having uh, the global positioning system, to having GPS. Back in the 80s and uh, in, in early 90s, that system was not available. And we used to navigate long range uh, using a system that was in the aircraft called LNS, Long Range Navigation System, or INS, Inertial Navigation System. And the amazing thing was that the system was very inaccurate. In fact, it would drift about a mile. It could drift up to a mile for every hour that you flew. So if you had a 10 hour flight, you could be within 10 miles of where you wanted to be. Now, this was only needed when you were places that didn't have ground-based systems. So when you were over the United States or Europe, you had a ground-based system to back you up.